Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to part one of a two-part series covering the HP Presence Room Solution, brand new solution. This particular set covers the Focus, Huddle, and Small Rooms. It is certified for Microsoft Teams Rooms. Larger size room systems will be certified in the coming months. And in this video, we're gonna be unboxing the solution, doing the device overview, and then cabling it up, getting it all in place and ready to power on and set up in part two, which is where we'll actually go over the initial setup, team's room setup, and a demo of the AI capabilities brought by our 4K camera. Before we get into the content, a couple quick asks. If you are not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, there is a very handy little button for that down below. Please subscribe and then turn on notifications so that you stay in the know every time I come out with a new awesome video like this one. And then if you like the video, I always appreciate the thumbs up below. Please give it a like. And then of course, share it with your colleagues and your friends and all your social media channels. You don't wanna keep awesome content like this all to yourself, do you? Appreciate all the help and on to the content we go. First up for unboxing is the HP Presence. C4K AI camera. The front of the box opens up like so. Got a little bit of padding built in right here. Directly underneath that is going to be the camera and a protective cloth covering. Coming up, we can see that we've got a QR code here. We can see that the camera itself is going to connect with our compute via a USB cable. Pretty simple. Cracking the lid on the box here, on the side, we've got a couple different options for mounting. Uh, a, we can mount the camera on this optional piece right here. We've got all the mounting hardware included. Or B, it can sit on a surface using the stand that we've already seen it in on the picture at the front of the box. Off to the side here, we've got the included USB cable. This does feature, if you get in there, you can see the blue. There is color coding here so that we can see uh, this will correspond to the ports back on the UC engine that it needs to connect to. Mounting hardware for that optional wall mount. Of course, our setup guide for determining whether we're going to leave the camera on the stand or set it up on this wall mount and how the wiring should go in either case. A few extra very tiny screws in there. Included wrench for working with very, very tiny screws. And finally, within the styrofoam container here we've got this piece that will go on the wall if we are using the optional wall mount and if we take the camera itself off you'll see there's nothing left in the box so we can move that out of the way and this is a molded cardboard shape to keep the camera in place without moving around during transportation and then the camera itself this is a cloth covering it isn't plastic or styrofoam it's actual cloth uh, that gives it a nice soft feel, nothing gets scratched on the inside. And removing that, we get our first glimpse of the camera. Now, this has a little bit of cardboard in here that you'll want to remove prior to turning it on and letting it move around. Pull that out, and we can see this is how the camera will sit at rest. It will sit on a surface with the lens underneath pointing down. And the system is designed so that when you walk into the room, the system wakes up and the camera will turn 90 degrees to face inward toward the room. Now in our demo, we're gonna be using the camera on its stand as it ships. We're not gonna be using the optional wall mount. However, I wanted to call attention to it because as you can see, this is a rather unique form factor for a wall mount. The camera does not have the USB cable plugged directly into it in this instance. The camera will detach, the little cube portion of the camera will detach from the stand, sit right here, connect in with the little metal uh, prongs you see there, the little metal connectors. And then at the back of the device where it's gonna connect to the wall, we come in here and see we've got a USB connection right there. So the blue color coded end of the USB cable we saw has a unique L shape to it. It will connect in at the back. Once, once the USB is connected, this part gets mounted to the wall and this will actually connect together. It clips in so that it's held firmly on the wall. And when you walk into the room with the USB connected, that cube will rotate from being off to the side to facing inward toward the room. Looking at the cabling for the camera, again, color coding here, USB-C on both sides, but you've got this unique L shape over here. 
and we saw how this connect would connect into the back of that mount if we were to wall mount. Inside of the cable packaging, we've got a whole bunch of little adhesive uh, plastic clips that allow you to clip the uh, cable itself into them so that you can run the cable in specific directions and keep it up against the wall. Uh, allows you to keep your cabling neat and tidy and where you intend it to be. You know, looking at the form factor of this camera, a bit of inspiration was hitting me that I, I couldn't quite place. And then suddenly it hit me. The mask. <laughs> you love me. You really love me. <laughs> you love me. You really love me. All right, with the C4K AI camera unboxed and ready for us, let's get to the rest of the room system. In the larger box here, we open the top and we take a glance up and we see we've got a few different options depending on what exactly we have ordered. Now, as of right now, the Certified for Team solution is over on the left and this is what we have here. However, you'll see that we can get a couple different options in the future if we're looking for a Team Certified device. Uh, this is the plus option over here and there's a little bit different configuration that goes into it with Ethernet cables, USB cables, uh, peripheral microphones, etc. Uh, we will be going with this structure over here. So we've got power coming out of both devices, USB running between them, and then of course a USB option coming from that center of room console. Coming back down to the box, we've got some protective cardboard right up top, molded to fit what's underneath. And right up top, we've got that HP Presence Control Unit, our center of room touch console. Uh, we can see that on the sides of it, we've got these uh, cardboard uh, protectors, keeping it in place in the middle, but also filling the space that this larger unit we see down here would typically be in. So we can remove both of those, and we are left with the unit right there in the center. Got a bit of weight to it. Again, has that protective cloth covering. Carefully putting that unit off to the side, we can remove this layer of protective cardboard padding. Got some documentation sitting right here to the left. We've got the compute itself in a plastic packaging right here. This is going to be the UC engine. Uh, we will plug all of our cables into that. We see it as we look back up at our diagram. We see that UC engine right there. That's our compute. Removing the cardboard padding underneath of the UC engine. We've got a few more things down here, specifically some cable management options and mounting hardware. Crack the lid on the box right here. We've got a few more things in here, cabling. We've got USB cables right here. Again, color coding system so that we know what plugs in where. This would be our five meter USB-C cable. We've got one of the power supply cables the other power supply cable, some more cable management and mounting uh, hardware, an HDMI to display port converter, and our two power supplies. With the contents unboxed, we've got that HDMI to display port converter right there. The next cable has USB-C on one side and our BYOD function on the other side. BYOD capabilities, single cable, multiple options to plug in on the other end. We've then got our five meter cable here, USB-C on both ends, color coded so that we know where to plug the ports in on which side. Uh, one end is gonna go on the UC engine, the other end is gonna go into the center of room touch console that we see right here. Power supply and power cable for the center of room touch console right here. And last but not least, the UC engine itself, the actual compute running our Windows 10 operating system. Uh, this is an HP device. We can see that branding right down there. And then the power supply and power cable for it. Taking a look at our mini PC itself, we see on the very front of it, aside from our branding up front, we have a USB-C port, two USB-A ports, a headset three and a half millimeter jack port right there, and our power button. There are mounting options for this that shipped with it. Uh, we're not going to be installing or using any of those in today's demo, but they are included in the box so that you have options for where this is positioned or where it's mounted. Tilting it up, take a look at the bottom. You can see this part down here extends out a little bit further, and we've got our rubber grips down here, allowing this to sit on a surface if that's how we choose to store it without sliding around. 
and sliding it around to the back of the device, we've got more ports. Two display ports, two USB-A, I'm sorry, three USB-A ports right there, two USB-C ports color-coded for the, uh, the purple end of the cables. We've got the blue end of the cable, which will correspond to our uh, the C 4K AI camera, an HDMI port, another USB-A port, Ethernet cable, and finally power. And I said finally too soon, we've got this Kensington lock slot down here at the bottom. Our center of room touch console has a rather unique form factor. It was designed with a low profile. It has an 8-inch anti-glare touchscreen at the front. The touchscreen features three-dimensional capabilities with this little area up here featuring the volume and mute buttons. There is also an LED status indicator light up here. The center of room touch console features a premium audio experience with speakers and four microphones built in at the very center of the table. The bottom of the device features rubber grips to prevent it from slipping on a surface. However, it also ships with mounting hardware to wall mount it. Removing the protective film from the front of the device, we can see that we've got built-in sensors letting us know that people have walked into the room and turning the system on at room entry. You can see that we've got a USB-C and HDMI port right off to the side. On the bottom of the device, we've got a detachable panel here that will help keep our cables controlled and hidden. Cables can obviously be routed out the bottom of the device so that they go through the table and we have a zero cable profile on the desktop. The cables can also be routed out to the side here. The screws loosened, we can pull this bottom plate right off and we can see that this is where we will run our cables through if the cables go out the side. Otherwise, they'll just come right out the bottom. And then up against this back wall here, again, color-coded cabling, we've got three different USB-C ports, and we've got a USB-A port right there as well. All right, with our overview of the devices complete, let's get the system set up. Right now, we've got the center of room touch co console flipped upside down. Uh, it's ready to have cables plugged in. And this is going to be the USB-C coming from the power supply. So again, we've got a little power icon on the purple uh, section right there. So we'll take this USB-C cable and plug it right in there. And we'll run our cable through these, uh, these little prongs, if you will. And it will run out the back of the, uh, the panel that we looked at earlier. And taking our USB-C cable with the white end, that is the same cable that has these three components or these three uh, different USB-A, USB-C, and HDMI on the other end. And we'll plug it into the port that is labeled with the white USB icon. And again, we'll run the cables through these prongs. And finally, following our color-coded system, we'll take the USB-C cable and the end that has the same color that we see up there I realize I've been saying the colors, but I'm actually colorblind and maybe I'm saying them wrong. So just match up like colors, <laughs> in case you're colorblind like I am. And we'll get that plugged in. And, uh, and actually I'm gonna slide a couple of these cables over. Just cause I feel like that cable should come down right here. And now we've got all three of those cables in there, power and connectivity back to the system, as well as our BYOD cable. And I'm not going to put anything in this USB-A port. With those all in place, this will kind of slide back in. It'll sit right over those cables, hold them in place. And with that, we can flip the console back over upright. Our cables will come out the back. And if we had chosen to route them underneath the device and through the table, we wouldn't even see them. Looking at all our components here, we now want to plug our blue color-coded USB cable into the uh, C4K AI camera. And we've got two ends. We've got that L-shaped end, and then we've got a, uh, a regular end with no L-shape. Now, since we're not wall mounting this, the place where the USB is gonna connect is underneath. It's not connecting up here. The connectivity for the camera runs through this metal component here. We can see underneath, this is where we're gonna connect. So I cannot put the L shape down here or it will not sit flat. Instead, we will connect the flat end and the L shape will go back over on our PC. Now we can see the cable is connected at the back. It's sitting flat. We've got the L shape 
coming over to our PC, that L shape is going to connect in right there. Taking the other end of the USB-C cable coming from our touch console, the other end is actually purple right here. And we can see we've got purple over here on our PC. So we'll connect this into one of those spots. I'll take this uh, HDMI to display port converter. And we'll actually plug it into uh, one of these slots over here. I've got an HDMI cable for my one display we'll put in here. And then we'll plug in my second display into this HDMI on the right side. Power supply for the PC, we'll plug in right here off to the right. Power supply cable to plug into the wall for the PC. Power supply cable for our center of room touch controller, plug in there. And coming back over to that uh, display port to HDMI or HDMI to display port, whichever way we're gonna go. We've got an HDMI, we'll plug it into there. And the other HDMI cable we'll plug in right here. And last but not least, we'll need our internet connectivity. So we'll plug in an ethernet cable at the bottom. And we are all plugged in, ready to get this Microsoft Teams Rooms on Windows solution, the HP Presence Suite for our small and huddle rooms, plugged in, set up, and on to the demo.